for years, prime ministers have called this place home. It's also been called a rodent-infested death trap and a security risk. But for this heritage proponent, it's a building still worth saving. If you have a pest problem in your house, your first reaction is to call a pest control company. It's not to call the demolition company. He's speaking out following news that 24 Sussex might never house a prime minister again. Sources tell CBC News the government is looking at an entirely new site to bolster security. But Mark Donay's group believes 24 Sussex can be saved for less than what it would take to build a new home. And for under the $36 million the National Capital Commission estimates renovations would cost. As for saving a piece of history, Bordone, priceless. How many historic events have to occur in a place before it's recognized as historic? Okay. The fact is everybody from monarchs to presidents to constitutional discussions have occurred in this living room. An architecture firm in Ottawa wants to preserve the home too. It's published an unsolicited proposal to save the main house, mixing old with new touches. Pictures the firm hopes renew public interest. This is not a new debate. What to do with 24 Sussex is a perpetual question, one that politicians are more than willing to kick down the road. Of my list of priorities, this will probably be the last. Um, we don't need a new home for the prime minister. We need a new home for working class Canadians. I mean, uh, for others, enough is enough. I think it's embarrassing that a G7 country can't provide a safe, uh, secure residence for the head of government. After years of inertia, the feds say they could make a decision about 24 Sussex by the fall, a chance to finally learn the fate of this building. Maybe. Catherine Tunney, CBC News, Ottawa.